Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Crusader Kings 2 with Fortmaster. Hello! Yeah, so it looks like the invasion is by, like, Kingdom, because, like, if I go uh, over, like, the Holy Roman Empire, I can do an invasion of, like, Bo uh, Bavaria, Bohemia, Catalonia, Croatia, Denmark... The section of France that they hold. Wow. Frisia, Germany, Hungary. I could go for Jerusalem. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> uh, I really don't. Right now, I just I just fought a war with them, so I don't want to. <laughs> I just made a tributary state of Africa now, so they will pay me tribute. Really? Their name hasn't disappeared. Oh. Let's see. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, your name just changed. Aha. Uh -huh. oh, okay, yeah. It's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Since they're... Uh, since they're your tribute, Terry, um... Can you can you go to Sicily and like declare war on the pieces of territory that they own in Africa? Um, I imagine I could. Yeah, I hadn't thought about uh, declaring war against Sicily. We're fighting them right now, though, for some oh, reason. Oh, okay. Well, maybe. Wait a second. Maybe. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I might know. So, like, I think Africa might have been at. Yeah, so Africa was already at war with Sicily, it looked like. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, and since you became the new overlord, you were pulled into the war. Aha. Uh -huh. Nice beard, by the way. Oh, thanks very much. I had to immediately uh, put it on there as soon as I was ground. <laughs> <laughs> How am I doing on troops exactly? So, mm, yeah, I'm not gonna do an invasion until I have like a sizable amount of money built up, just so I can like, in case it goes on for a while. Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah, my wife just died. Oh no, I got a notification oh. about that too. Really? Yeah, at, at the top right up there, it popped up, and she went, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that's. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, like, I have a lot of kids. I have, like, several worthy heirs. Uh -huh. I think I'm good. You're not going to get married right away to some cute young thing? <laughs> no, I mean, like, at this it, at this rate, I'm 70, I'm 75 years old. At this age, it would do me more harm than good. Ah, uh -huh. gotcha, gotcha. I just can't keep up with them. <laughs> Why is it playing Chinese music? Yeah, it was for me when we first started, but it's it's gone back to the regular soundtrack now. Yeah. Ah, uh, I think my tributary gave up uh, the fight, so we're no longer fighting against uh, Sicily. Hmm. Wait, who are you being invaded by right now? Are you at war with that Molly? Uh, no. I I was at war with Sicily down in Africa, but I, I don't see any invasion forces right now. Yeah, well, I think one of your uh, one of your vassals is at war with Molly right now, and they're losing. Oh, no. Oh man, Africa is a jerk. They're going to war with everybody. <laughs> mm -hmm. Calm down. What's their What's their ruler's traits? Uh, he's just well, he's a bastard. Um, he's shrewd and ambitious, but also somehow shy. Um, temperate, cruel, diligent, 
and has the great pox. Man. Maybe it's his cruelty getting him into all these scrapes. I've never seen a bigger oxymoron of a human being. <laughs> He's hungry. He is pretty big. Sort of acting as a wall. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, great. There's two Egypts again. Oh, no. <laughs> Look, there's e there's a dark green Egypt in Anatolia, and then there's light green Egypt in Africa. Man. Yeah, they've got a revolt going on too down in Africa. Down in Africa. <laughs> I've always got people showing up up there in uh, Estonia place and forget about him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'm dead. Oh, no. Okay, let's see what the people say about me. Emperor Juan III has given up the ghost at age 76. He died of an infected wound, having been horribly disfigured. Juan spent his last years unable to show his face in public. This uh, death has finally freed his soul from his crippled body. Wow. Uh, and um, uh, his successor is Emperor Juan the <laughs> Fourth. Uh, blessed with an awesome knowledge of all things between heaven and earth, Juan's rule is sure to be legendary. Long live Juan the Fourth! Yay! Uh, now I need to be crowned. How much is this gonna cost me? <laughs> gonna put off my. Question. Yeah, only the Pope can crown me. That's right. Oh, 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 okay. Hmm. So I guess now that I'm an emperor and not a king, only the Pope can crown me. Wow. Man. Okay. Okay, now the cup. Chancellor, you, you, my brother. Pick a focus, I guess. Family. Uh, pick an ambition. Pick room and air. Um... Oh, I just know my new son has a hair lip. Aw, oh, man. But he's a genius, so that's okay. There you go. Um, yeah, I should be glad to recognize your divine root as soon as you donate to the church. 450? Sure, yeah. Should be an extravagant ceremony. Yeah, that's what I had to pay to get crowned. Maybe that's just standard for emperors. Mm hmm. What? Uh, I was surprised tonight when Pope Alexander the Fourth uh, stated that the period of festivity that I have organized is unfit for the severity of the holy charge I am about to receive. Uh, he has concluded his scolding by remarking that he has witnessed many impious acts uh, and uh, degrading behavior during his visit uh, that have left him shocked and repulsed. Um, clearly he is exaggerating. Wow. <laughs> I just wanted a party. <laughs> no party. Only holiness. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Bunch of little epidemics going on all over Europe here. Mm -hmm. Slow fever, consumption, smallpox, camp, camp fever. fever. Hey! I was crowned by the Pope! Yahoo! Introduce heir to the realm? Sure. Let's see how he does. How do my other children stack up to him? I only have a other daughter. Okay, so I need. I'm probably going to need more kids. Mm. Ah, great peasant revolt. Where is this? Oh no! Yeah, up there. 
Raise the troops! There we go. That's good. Yeah. No more revolt. Ha ha ha. Oh no, Prince Fadric, my brother, is hiring men to attack me. Oh, come on. I hope he's not, not prone to accidents. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he doesn't... Oh, wow, okay. Um, hey, uh, so I just noticed there are some major uh, border changes to, um, uh, in the east. Uh, you want to look at them? In the east? Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, the Seljuks broke out of the Mongols. Wow. They have a lot of territory, too. Yeah. I didn't notice this uh, Googe over here. That's uh, interesting. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Jeez, there's so much. I'm, this is, the borders over here are ugly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they don't make any sense. No, I'm just gonna stop looking at them. <laughs> Let's focus on the peninsula over here. It'll be fine. <laughs> oh, hey, okay. What is this guy? Um, hmm. Say, people and the emperor proclaimed his allegiance to Lucifer's own. Um, what should we do with him? So let's see. Uh, so he is highly suspicious. Okay, he is also a wicked priest. Oh, the first it's the hit the man that I, I've never seen that icon before. That's it's just like a black circle with a gray cross on it. Huh. The personality and habits of this priest are very inappropriate for his position, and what's worse, he has been unable to hide them from public view. Um, he's also a hunchback. Wow. Um, which I think, I, uh, if I remember correctly, if you if you use like satanic powers enough, you'll you'll kind of like become deformed. Interesting. Um, and he's also an impaler. Oh well. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, but he is depressed, so I don't know. We're gonna we'll burn him. <laughs> put him out of his misery. Yeah. We'll put him out of my misery. He's more like it. <laughs> Huh. The war score is 100%, but uh, the guys are ending the war. Hmm. And I apparently don't have the option to offer peace. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Now it's ended. Yay! Hmm. I need a physician. I need a doctor in case I grow sick. Who are you? You are... Yeah, you are now the court chaplain. The witch hunter. Sure. That sounds pretty awesome, though. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. My brother is concerned about my health and thinks I'm becoming too thin. He's the same oh. one that's trying to kill me, though. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Right? I'm not sure I trust his uh, concern. Yeah. It's, uh, I know I just tried to kill you last week, but, like, you're not looking healthy, man. <laughs> I gained the trait fat. Oh, okay. Go to Barber. I feel like I haven't had a beard in a long time. 
There we go. Nice thick mustache. It's all the rage here in the peninsula. Facial hair. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a nice one. I swear, what is it like? It's sort of like your tradition in our household where, like, at dinner we'll watch Jeopardy because it's on. Uh -huh. um, and, r and right now, because of the pandemic, they haven't been making any new episodes. So they've been replaying a lot of old episodes. And it's so weird because you see, like, these, you see, like, these guys with, like, it's just so weird seeing Alex Trebek, like, with colored hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, uh, okay. Um, um, an old legal right almost forgotten by all but the barons, uh, called Prisma Nogate, or Droit de Sugir, uh, is the subject of a heated debate. The barons of, have claimed that it is their right to take the virginity of their serfs' maiden daughters, and the serfs are protesting against such a barbaric right. Oh, prima nocta or whatever. That's it. Prima nocta, of course. How was how I having trouble reading this? <laughs> okay, first off, please let the barons have some fun. <laughs> Uh, and the other one, I'm gonna go with the second one. This does this, this isn't and shouldn't be legal. I forbid it. There you go. Who cares if they don't like me a bit? Uh, just another day skulking as I often do. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, flesh is weak. Oh geez, okay, so wait. Where? Okay, so apparently I could do an invasion of Egypt. Hmm, I don't want- I need to save up money. Yeah. I've just been spending money on, uh, building up my holdings and stuff, so I'm down to about 6,000. Yeah, I'm at like 5,000. I need to build them- I want to get at least 10,000 before I do an invasion. Yeah. Great Holy War for Africa! Oh no. Wait. Wait, what is this? Uh, the mighty Grand Signet Boire the Second has decided that it is time to teach King uh, Louise of Africa and the believers of the dead crucified God another lesson in humility. All free African men are invited to partake in the scouring of the Kingdom of Africa. The answer, the ancestors are with us. I wonder if I'm about to be called to war. <laughs> um, I would think. I would think, yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Tell me if you actually are called into the war, okay? Oh, and he's okay. having a revolt. How oh, is he? Yeah. We just crushed a revolt over there. Yeah, well, here's, here's another. Yep. He says, uh. Okay, yeah, he's calling me to the Grand Saltigue Bawa II and Urbano of African Revolt. So he's calling me to both of them at once. <laughs> well, I mean, you can. It's kind of easy to put down a revolt. Yeah. True. Um. Are are we allies? I forget. I was thinking that we are, but I I don't. It doesn't give me the option to call allies right now. No, I mean, it says form alliance is not a close relative or has a non-aggression pact. So wait. Um. Oh, is, is it because you died earlier? Probably. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm just going to arrange a betrothal. Between your son and my daughter. Perfect. Here we go. Accepted. Oh, oh wow, a bunch of black flags just popped up all over my land. Black flags? Yeah, Timbuktu and the army. Conversion. Okay. I have never seen that before. What's a black flag? Army of Bishop Yunes. Oh, it's like one of your vassals in in like the southern arm of Africa towards Mali. That's odd. Well, How I does mean, he have one of your so many for... troops all over the place, though? That's crazy. Uh, let's. Uh, I don't know. Uh, and some place has just converted to the Orthodox faith. Okay. That's good. 
I mean, it's not as good as Christian. <laughs> yeah, what's the old saying? Once you go Catholic, you can't go back or something? I don't know. Or they, we won't let you go back. That's right. <laughs> we'll burn you Who's if you go back. China? Uh, intended to enforce the subjugated subjugation of a tributary state of the Qin Empire, the Protectorate, in the Western Protectorate has declared war upon the Han armies already marching towards the realm of the Khan. Uh, it seems possible to spell the end of the end of independence. You know what? I'm actually really lucky I didn't turn uh, that we didn't turn on Sunset Invasion. Oh, uh, because that's basically the Mongol Empire, but from our side of the map. Wow. Um, basically, what it is is uh, Mayans from the New World come over. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that would be and, crazy. <laughs> and then if you if you actually do that. Uh, then when you convert the save, you'll find this, like, really advanced Mayan empire in the New World. Wow. That would be kind of awesome, though. Yeah, the, with the exceptions, they come with a complete butt-ton of troops, so oh, they're yeah. really hard to fight. <laughs> though, I mean, at least the one good thing is, though, once they've actually conquered land, they're stuck using the troops that they get from the land that they conquer. Oh, so they can be pushed back, but the thing is, it's kind of hard to push back the initial thing. Interesting. Yes, and now four more lions. Uh, can you call me into the war? Or are you fine by yourself? Uh, it doesn't seem to be giving me the option right now to call allies. Mm, I guess it's because you're fighting on behalf of a subject. I imagine so, yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, my brother's uh, declared war against me now. Wait, your brother? Yeah. Oh geez, sorry about that, man. <laughs> Way it goes. Uh, okay, so the expansionist policy is now gone. Nice. Goog. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, these Africans thought that they could come up through my lands to attack Africa, but little did they know. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Africa is still plagued with dudes, though. <laughs> Plagued. <laughs> World is a dangerous place. Yep, I am very aware of that. List is passed. Why do I keep getting messages about this? I don't know these people. Right. My heir is old enough, finally, and a uh, wife. Why aren't we having more children? Unlanded son. I'll give you this. It's tradition. Every every ruling monarch gives his first son this property. <laughs> <laughs> Man, so far it really has not been worth it. Uh, to have made Africa a tributary. <laughs> it's been nothing but trouble this whole time. Yeah. Eh, you know what? What's that? I am, I am seriously contemplating just going for an invasion of France. Wahoo. So... So, you don't mind if I just pause for a second to get things ready? Uh, that'd be fine. I may need to take a couple of minutes anyway. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back.
So I just I just read the description of an invasion. So the regular so or the description of regular like border dispute or something is uh, you can choose to dispute any county that borders you. Uh, beware that choosing to wage uh, a conquest not backed by a claim carries hefty penalties. Penalties are are the highest when the attacking when attacking somebody following your religion. Fairly high when attacking somebody of your religion's group, and still significant when attacking somebody of another religious group. So, uh, you want to know what the description of a, an invasion is? Yes. We do not need to bother with just causes. Might makes right. Uh, we can invade <laughs> the we can invade the lands of whoever we're invading. If successful, all titles of the currently occupied whole all all titles all the if successful, the titles of all currently occupied holdings will be seized, and all vassals will become your vassals. Wow. So that That's basically, amazing. That basically means uh, just conquer as much as possible, and when the war is finished, everything that I'm holding is mine. <laughs> That's incredible. Raise the troops. Though. We're not going to bother with these guys on islands or whatever, because they're just really hard to deal with. True. Yeah, having your ship pop everywhere is really a pain. Yeah, so I'm just... Egypt, you don't have to do anything. Uh, Estonia, no. Just everybody from the mainland. Oh, great. Now, what's this plague? Just... Measles! Oh, no. It's measles! Yeah, it's all across the border, too. Your guys have to march straight through it. Yeesh. Ouch. What timing? Yeah. It just came out of nowhere, too. Yeah. That's going to do it for this episode. If you want to catch another one, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time that you spend on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.